So I want to discuss the root of all our misery. It's my intention to share with you the origins of what makes us miserable and how we can effectively treat this kind of behavior by uh, working it out on the board behind me. So you see, I, like you, feel the uh, emotional distress of when things are just not going my way. And it's my hope that by sharing my experiences, you can find some kind of resonance which can uh, aid you and be valuable for uh, how you conduct yourself in the future. For myself, becoming aware of the initial triggers was the first crucial step I needed to exercise in, or in order for me to um, move towards my resolve and my freedom. And uh, so I'll give you an example myself, my misery was largely predicated on my feelings of resentment and bitterness towards uh, other people. So, uh, I'll give you an example. Whenever, uh, whenever you see someone you know, uh, could be someone at school, could be one of your colleagues, someone you um, may know through another person, becoming successful um, through social media, whatever it is, they're driving around in their new cars, they're wearing all the latest clothes, whatever it may be. When you see this person becoming successful, or worse, when you see them becoming successful in the field that you yourself um, consider to be a, a specialist, now that is a, uh, is a very bitter pill to swallow indeed. Thoughts begin to assault us from every single direction and uh, so here's a couple um, familiar ones that revisited me whilst I was scrolling through these Instagram pages. Uh, um, so personal training is something that I uh, pride myself in being an expert in and when I see all these personal training influencers on Instagram, these thoughts come to me, but he's not as good as me. I wouldn't have taught it that way. That's, that's not going to help and that exercise is really going to hurt that individuals. And um, some of these thoughts might run parallel with, uh, with how your inner critic is uh, communicating to you. So some common themes um, for myself and perhaps others, this might be a common theme, is the, the I principle, our judgment, our beliefs and our values. I is simply our ego, our identity as an individual. When we look out onto the world through the perspective of the character we have created over time, we begin to identify and solidify some common characteristics that um, perhaps do not conform to the character, our, our values. So when you see people that do things that we ourselves would never replicate or attempt, it's because it's not aligned with the person we have become, the, uh, the person we think we are. And this creates a dissonance in us because we close ourselves off from the behaviors others are showing. So I'll give you an example. If we are a self-proclaimed introvert, if we, um, so I, I used to consider myself as a introvert completely, quiet, uh, keep to myself, not very social, not very outgoing. And what I would think when I saw someone who was an extrovert, someone who's taking bold actions in the world, this, uh, this creates a kind of dissonance up here um, in my thought process because I can't, I can't identify um, with that because I, I'm, I'm thinking that I'm a different person. So this dissonance can present itself in a, a number of ways. For myself, it was bitterness and resentment. When we find the will to look into our own misery, we will find the source is primarily predicated on the aspect that that extroverted person is a piece or a characteristic that we are missing to make ourselves more whole. When I was looking at these personal trainers on Instagram, I was in envy that my, with my ego that my character had come to know was struggling and conflicting against the idea that I could potentially be something different, something more. So this is uh, where we want to come to over here, the person you could be. And this is, uh, this is where the conflict happens. This is where the misery happens when we are too identified with the person we think we are and 
coming to grips with, well, well maybe, maybe I'm not so introverted. Maybe I'm not so quiet. Maybe I'm not as humble as I thought I was. This is indicative of a characteristic that I am needing to move forward in the direction of uh, success or happiness, whatever it may be. Again, looking at these Instagram trainers who put themselves so transparently and bare-chested, uh, literally, for the world to see, made me feel angry and sad because I knew I could never do it. Or th I thought I could never do it. For the character I'd created and viewed these individuals was um, justifying it as them me merely seeking validation. And it was not for uh, more moral uh, purposes. Um, I saw it purely as a, an attempt to, uh, yes, validate, my, uh, validate themselves and um, project some kind of material image that uh, on the surface is very shallow and uh, again, doesn't provide much value to the world. I grew jealous of their confidence and willingness to be seen. I'm gonna circle round to the premise of this video, which is misery. So misery exists when our ego is stronger than your will to act in a way which is not congruent or aligned with the person you think you are at this present moment. So we are over here, the person we think we are, the values that we have versus, well, maybe I could be a little bit more outspoken maybe I could do things that aren't as consistent with um, m who my friends and who my family or my colleagues think I am. We become slaves in our way to our own rules and what we use to describe ourselves. So I used to describe myself again as uh, introverted, quiet, narcissistic, perhaps a little bit self-indulgent and if I continue to believe this description then that was that would all I would ever surmount to. I would have capped and imprisoned myself to an identity that was no longer serving me. Um, with my own ego guarding my cell I was a captive. The only option if you are feeling this way and you are resonating with this, the only way we can get out of it is mutiny. A rebellion against the version of yourself that is no longer resourceful to your goals and ultimately your happiness. We must destroy our ego or at least humble it. We humble it by opening ourselves, um, creating more openness in uh, how we view others in the world and what characteristics we then value. For myself, I surrendered the belief that I was a quiet expert in exercise, nutrition and personal training and that I had nothing to learn from these uh, vain uh, supermodels you see on Instagram, these Instagram personal trainers. I started to change the lens in which I viewed these individuals from seekers of validation and ego um, to educators. They became my teachers and my mentors who could show me the way to have a presence on social media so I too could share valuable information. The biggest mistake we can make is thinking that we know more than the next person and this should not permit openness to learn and change ourselves when we are miserable and unhappy. Surrender your ego. Be open to change. Realize you are flexible and fluid. Human beings are flexible and fluid. If you are not, you would be dead. That's what a carcass is. It goes cold. Um, rigor mortis sets in. You are alive, be flexible, surrender your ego, become who is going to be most resourceful for you now. And if that is something that resonates with you and you found value in this video, please like it, subscribe, because there's a lot of content on personal growth, holistic health, and everything that is going to move you in a direction to where you want to go.
And if that is happiness, if that is health, if that is success, then this is the place for you. And please join the dialogue below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this video. And um, I'll see you next time.